collaboration with UNH on sea level rise impacts, smart and connected coastal communities. Mr. Chairman, we've had an invitation to join UNH along with some other communities on the seacoast. UNH is studying and putting together uh, an objective study to develop tools that provide for an objective and quantitative assessment of the risk to buildings and infrastructure from storm surge and sea level rise. Uh, it's called the Coastal Environmental Risk Index, uh, and they are requesting that Hampton participate in that. There's no cost to us. Uh, they would like to have us participate along with the other communities on the seacoast. Okay, and what, what, what's our commitment? What's our... Uh, there is no commitment. I, obviously, that we're going to have to uh, uh, provide them with information as they, as they need it, uh, but there is no actual direct commitment. Okay. Anybody uh, want to make a motion on that or want to wait on it or? Up to the board. Yeah. I'm leaving it open to the board. Well, I don't, I, I don't know what would be making a motion. It doesn't say much. There's no backup data. Right. Um, Is this the one that's anymore. supposed to have something to do with um, things about uh, maybe offering tax credits or something like that? No, that's a different program that's put out by the state and federal governments, and we are trying to effort that now uh, to see whether or not we can fit people into that. This is looking at uh, quantitative analysis of what will happen at sea level rise and with storm surge. Uh, as you know, there's a we should know there's a tremendous amount of storm surge, and we'll probably have some this weekend uh, from storms coming up the Atlantic coast. And with sea level rise, what little there has been so far, it continues to bring a lot of water into our residential neighborhoods on the marsh at the, at the back of uh, Ashworth Avenue, for instance, and, and up off of uh, the other streets in, in that general area, all the way up to the North Shore. Uh, they're trying to study it to find out what the impacts are and what can be done with it. Uh, they're, they're trying to look to analyze what's actually happening and come up with some quantitative answers. Well, I have a question, and we're going to be, if the, if the Warren article were to pass through, we would be studying this too in some sense for the town. We would be studying some, in some sense, yes. yes. I'll make a motion that we should do this. I don't think it hurts. I'll second. All in favor? Well, the discussion. I, I just have okay. questions. Uh, it's it's 13 words. There's no backup material. Uh, UNH has a great program. Everybody is all for this, but uh, I don't know what the co collaboration requires. I don't know if there's any expenditure. It doesn't say it's revenue neutral. Uh, and and uh, why don't I have them come to your next meeting and you can sit here and they can do a full presentation for you? I would just uh, uh, yeah, thank you for the threat, Mr. Uh, Welch. <laughs> but I would uh, I would just like a, a more detailed synopsis and uh, then I'm happy to support it. Um, well, and if you want to have a vote tonight, that's fine. I just won't vote for something I don't know what it means. That's fine. I can I can have them come in and do a full we presentation. Have a motion. We have a second. Well, yeah. sort of what Mr. Bean is kind of correct is that, you know at least if they give us a little bit of information. Okay. We could, you know, I, I'd, I'd be more apt to vote, vote them next week okay. to allow and have but they're them. Are going to be able to come next week? Well, they don't have to come. Just send us some information just to yeah. tell us what it's about. He's right. 13 words is not a lot to go on. Okay. Right. I agree with Rusty and Phil. Okay. I did send you a, uh, a letter from the chairman of the Conservation Commission this past week yeah, to describe that. this program in detail. Yeah, I and read what it. what little information that they have provided to me, I also provided to the board, but that's all yeah. I had. So do you want to re remove your motion? Whose motion was it? It was mine. I don't, you know, I don't mind waiting, but I don't think this sends a good message to the voters when we ever have a thing on there to, re to do a $100,000 warrant article. That's why I made the motion. Well, I, did, I say I'm not opposed to it. I just, I just like a little more information from what the state has. I, I, I think we can vote on it and get the information. If we don't want it, we can take it back. We have a motion. We have a second. We have discussion. The motion still stands on the floor. Does the second still stand? All right. Let's be brave here. Um, I, I, we made our point. We're going to get more detailed analysis. Subject to that, I'm, I'm a favor of it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I, think, I mean, that's fine. I think long, long we, we need to show some support to the voters. <laughs> <laughs> We're interested. Agreed. All right. No.